UML is a powerful visual modeling language with useful notations. It is designed to be a general-purpose language, so at times it may not be able to describe some domain-specific characteristics for your model elements. But there are extensibility mechanisms available for UML. You can add your own custom properties by using tagged values. You can add a tagged value to an existing model element. For example, you can add a custom property called Department and set the value to Operations to the actor called Inventory Team here. Let's look at a demo with Visual Paradigm for UML. Right-click Inventory Team. Select Open Specification. Select the Tag Values tab. Go to the bottom and click Add. Here we are going to say the tag is of text type. We will name this tag Department. And the value is Operations. To finish, simply click OK. Now you may wonder, do we always have to add the same tag values one by one? The answer is no. We can add a default tag value to a model element type. For example, we can add a property called department to actor. Then, if we create an actor instance, say inventory team, by default, it will come with the custom property department. As an example, you can set it to operations. Likewise, if you create another instance, you can set it to a different department like sales. Now let's go to a demo with Visual Paradigm for UML again. Go to the main menu, click on modeling. Select Configure Default Tag Values. In the dialog box, select the model element type, which is actor in our example. Then go to the bottom right. Click Add and we will say the tag is of text type. Name the tag Department and we won't specify any default value. So we will leave this blank here. Click OK. We will now go into the part where we make use of it. Let's say we are working on this use case diagram, and we want to create an actor to process order. Click this icon here and drag to the left. Name it Sales Team. To set the tag values, right-click it and select Open Specifications. Select the Tag Values tab. Here, we can see that by default, an actor comes with a tag called department. As an example, we will enter sales for the value. Let's say we want to create an actor to arrange delivery. Name it inventory team. Then we take similar steps to set the tag. Let's say the inventory is formally under the operations department. So we will enter operations here. Click OK. As you can see, by default, instances of actor now come with a custom property called department, so you won't have to define it repeatedly.